you are on a Seek on a Speed 252 show. Scroll over to the right, click that subscribe button, and come part of this awesome community. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Seek on a Speed 252. And yes, I want to thank you guys for pushing that play button. I greatly appreciate it so much. Today's video is going to be different. You know why? We're officially making a video on the C7 Corvette. Definitely go subscribe to that YouTube channel right there, Seek on a Speed 252. And if you're actually interested in some of my Seek on a Speed 252 merch, go over to Seek on a Speed 252.com. Got some awesome key tags, awesome layers on the website. Um, these ones are 10 bucks. And if you buy it, I will send it to your address directly. A note for myself, um, thanking you and appreciating you. And here's the layer as well, which is on the website as well. Definitely free for you to go check those out. I greatly appreciate your support. Once again, we're finally putting on some tires and wheels on the C7 Corvette. I'm not gonna lie, I miss driving this bad boy so much. Yes, I totally enjoy driving my C8 Corvette. It's nothing like driving this bad boy, I'm telling you right now. Driving this thing has been a dream, has been a phenomenal experience. C8 Corvette production will start May 11th. Well, I'm excited for you guys to hopefully get your guys' cars. A lot of followers reached out to me and said, yo, status was 1100, now you at 3000. So congratulations on that from the Seek on the Speed 252 family and community. I hope you guys get your guys' cars. I'm looking forward to hearing you guys' stories, hearing about your colors, your spec, and all that great stuff. Uh, with that being said, I'm about to hop in this C7 Corvette, give it a cold start, take it to the dealership, get the new wheels and tires installed. Before we do that though, I wanna give a shout out to Mr. Scott. Mr. Scott, bought my z51 spoiler so mr scott look forward to that i'm gonna put that in the mailbox today as you guys know i installed the big wing spoiler on my car well not me personally but i got the big wing installed on my car because i actually prefer this better but mr scott wanted the z51 spoiler so mr scott i am going to fedex to put this bad boy in the mailbox for you today so let me go ahead and uh that's the wrong end let me go ahead and show you what this bad boy look like i'm sure you already know but yes, there's your Z51 spoiler, Mr. Scott. This bad boy will be put in the mailbox today. And I hope you get it pretty soon. I hope you enjoy it and get it installed on your C8 Corvette. As you know, the C8 Corvette production will or should start May 11th. Seeing you guys talk about your C8, definitely. Let's go ahead and hop into the car. Get this bad boy over to the dealership. You guys just don't understand how excited I am to drive this bad boy. Literally, haven't driven in so long. I almost got 26,000 miles on it. 25,998 miles on this bad boy. And I bought it in 2017, September. So I did a lot of driving on this car, but I'm super excited to drive it again today. Sorry, C8, we get a good out of here. Let's get on the road. So for all of you that don't know, here's a little backstory on this green trailblazer. I ended up buying this thing for a buck, ended up actually fixing it, um, painting it green, doing different things to it. Right now as we speak, the condenser went bad in this um, trailblazer that I bought for a dollar. And now my buddy who works at the shop is actually replacing the condenser for me, which is why you see Seagorn Speed 252 on the back of this trailblazer and definitely subscribe to that channel. Have enjoyed driving this trailblazer around the world actually, which I drove to California, Kentucky, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and California there and back. As you see right now, we are actually looking at my friend C6 Corvette. This is his Corvette that the guy that's actually working on my car. He has some knobs hooked up to it. I guess he's getting ready to uh, do some racing here. I also want to give you an up close glimpse of what my tires look like and definitely take a look at your C7 tires to see if they look anything like this in the inside of the tire. Leave your comments down below if you have experiences with your tires as well. On the outside, they don't look bad at all. Decent thread, definitely compared to the inside. See guys, we're officially finally getting new tires on the C7 Corvette. As you can see, it's worn out right here. I know a lot of you guys leave your tips down in the bottom in the comment section. Tell me why you think this is the case. Cause see, it's worn out bad right here, but it looks completely fine right here. And pretty much all of my tires like that. And these are the tires that came with the car, which are the 285 3019s. These are the Michelin Sport Cup 2s. Look, same thing over here. Wearing out right here as well. 
but it's not worn out that bad right here. Like I got plenty of thread right here, but it's banged up right here. And that's one of those things where man, like, listen, I, I enjoy this car a lot. I enjoy my C7, I really do, but I'm just tired of buying tires. Now these are the, these are official first set of tires that came with the car. So I, this is my actual first time ever buying tires for this car, but I don't want to have to buy tires that's gonna wear out in the middle right here. I mean, and on the end right here and not wear out evenly because it's gonna cost me to spend more money in the long run than I want to spend. Now the back tires are the worst tires, guys. Let's take a look at this. Look, that's horrible. But it looks good right here, terrible right here. So this is what I'm saying, like I'm trying to get rid of this problem. I, I'd rather have my tires wear out evenly than have it wear out right here. Cause that's just, to me that's nonsense. And it's the same thing over there. But you know, it is what it is. This is what the bottom looks like of a C7 Corvette, by the way, which is completely different from a C8 Corvette. It looks somewhat similar in the aspect so far as having this under there. This is what under the C8 as well, but you can't see any of this on the C8. <clears throat> All right, guys, so I'm gonna give you guys a tip for a lot of you new C7 Corvette owners. If you're in the process of wanting to change out your tires and wheels and jack your car up, there is something that you're gonna actually going to need. Now, as you can see right now, I have my side skirts on my car, which these came from the factory like this. But in order to jack your car up, you just can't put this underneath your car. You actually need to get this hockey puck, pretty much what I call it, in order to jack up your car properly. Because if you don't have this, this will jack up all of this and you're gonna be in a world of trouble. So if I would you definitely go to Amazon, go to acscomposite.com, which is one of my sponsors, pick some of these bad boys up so you can avoid damaging your side skirts. What's going on guys? So like I said before, I am getting some new tires and wheels put on the C7 Corvette. Here are the new tires that are going on my C7 Corvette. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, like I said before, my C7 Corvette came with Michelin Sport Cup 2s, but instead I decided to go with Continental um, Extreme Contact Sport. And my friend Mike introduced me to these tires um, because it was a little bit cheaper. I think the Michelin Sport Cup 2s were about like $1,800 for all four. These were about close to $1,400, $1,500 bucks. Pretty much the sticky tires as well. Um, sports only, obviously, as they are extreme contact sport right here. Um, these always are the same tires as coming out, which is 335, 25, 20, which goes on the rear. And these are 285, 3019 is going on the front. Hopefully, I can avoid that wear and tear down the middle right here because, man, I'm trying to keep these tires on the car as long as possible. My current ones that came with the car. Um, has like I said has 26,000 miles on it so I'm hoping that I can get about <laughs> at least 26,000 miles or 30,000 miles out of this they usually say these only get about 15,000 miles which I can't, I find that so hard to believe depending on you know if you're doing a bunch of burnouts and all that great stuff and obviously these tires you cannot rotate these are pretty much staggered tires I mean you can probably take one tire from the front and swap them over that direction but that might be pointless depending on how much how much you're driving the car so these are going on the car today Super excited to have these bad boys on because I really miss and enjoy driving. I see Sabre. I really do enjoy driving that car a lot. So um, hopefully we get these bad boys on today, take the C7 out for a spin. Um, I actually got to go back home at some point to get Mr. Scott spoiler and get it sent over to FedEx so they can get that out um, as well so they can receive that sometime next week. So guys, this is exactly what I wanted to show you about this tire. See how it's wearing out in the inside? Like this is crazy. So it's worn out really badly right here, but you can see there's pretty much wearing out right here as you can see like it's pretty much flush with the tire here then look at right here there's a lot of thread here a lot of thread here now they said Corvettes are supposed to be this way that's what some guys say it's supposed to be this way if you look it's worn out right here as well it's worn out right here as well and you really couldn't tell unless you really got up in the car and looked at it because if you look at this part which is the outside part you would think the tire looks good then you get over here then it's not and I want my tires to wear out evenly they said that the car will drive differently if they line up the car up completely the way it should be, um, which is a normal car. They said this is meant for the track, which is why it's worn out like this. It will drive different on the track. But honestly, man, me personally, I prefer to have it wearing out evenly. So that way this tire will last long. These tires aren't cheap, man. These are the Mission Sport Cup 2s. That was 1800 bucks. I got Continental, which was like 1500 bucks. I'd rather save some time, money, and get it lined up evenly than have it worn out unevenly. What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. 
What tires do you prefer on your car? What tires do you have on your car? All right, guys, I just want to introduce y'all to the new vehicle that's going on the channel. This is built by Chevrolet. This is my new vehicle. I'm looking forward to driving this bad boy. It is gnarly. I'm telling you right now, I'm coming to your town, pulling both of my cars with this bad boy right here. I'm telling you right now, I'm bulletproof. You ain't gonna be able to stop me. Don't even worry about it. I'm just gonna run over everything, run over the trees. I'm so kidding. This isn't mine. This belongs to the county of uh, North Carolina. But hey, guys, this thing is freaking gnarly, man. Look how crazy this thing is. It is insane. Golly. Yeah, you ain't shooting through those things. These tires are freaking crazy. This diesel is humongous, guys. But yeah, this, this is something else. I just wanted to show you what the heck this thing was. I probably could pull about four or five cars of this bad boy, but my gas mount is going to be crappy. <laughs> what is it, though? That's just the, the camera. Basically, you put the camera on the wheel. Right. And it picks it up right there. Okay. Beforehand, we put it up back here, basically. And when you roll it forward onto the actual the little disc the turntable. Right. That's where you can actually make adjustments and stuff because it moves without the carbon. So obviously, if these wasn't on the wheels, we won't be seeing this now. And if I stand in the middle of this, then everything goes away. Okay, that makes sense. Basically, it's just telling you the angle of what the wheel is at. Okay. A lot of machine basically just has presets of what it's supposed to be by the window. That makes sense. By the whatever I put inside there, whatever trim level it is, and then basically I need RPO codes. Okay. But I looked up inside all. In the Back system? Up, yeah. Okay. So since this is a Grand Sport, this is technically the Z06 suspension. Well, with your trim level, what I looked up the RPO was FE6, which is Z06. The suspension? Okay. Yeah, 7 oh, Z07 package suspension. That's what it said. Okay, cool. And basically, everything is, is dead center right now. That's the rear right now, which is the camera is about, about perfect. The toe is about perfect. And thrust angle is basically from the front to the back if it's gonna be pulling any type of way. Okay. So, but that's basically almost right there in the center. Okay. And then front, it's about the same. Camber's a little bit more, but it's still directly in the middle. Uh, caster's a little bit off, but it's, I mean, caster's not that really big of a deal on these cars. And then tow, basically the same thing. Okay. Sounds good to me, brother. I'm not sure if they have it, so... Yeah, pretty much. All right. That works for me, man. C7 Corvette Grand Sport with the wheels and the new fresh extreme contact sport tires on this bad boy. I'm looking forward to driving this thing again. I miss driving you, old girl. The C8 just, I love the C8 too, but I miss driving you, old girl. Ah, oh, man. All right, fellas, like I said, the C7 is back. I will start making C7 videos again. I know you guys have been requesting some C7 content. So I wanna get some C7 content back on the channel. I apologize for the delay, but we're officially back on the channel right now due to having brand new tires. Look at those tires. Them drinks, let me, let me, man, look at them. We got the green lines on the back right here. So we got the Continental, Continental, extreme sport contacts i'm telling you right now like i used to have the michelin sport cup twos great tires had nothing bad to say about them but they just wore it on the inside so we put on alignment i tried to make an alignment i guess with the car and pretty much the machine said it was already lined up so there's nothing we can really do about it so unfortunately these going to pretty much wear out on the inside as well but we got the new wheels on the new tires on i'm so excited to start about driving this car because guys i'm not gonna sit here and lie to you like i miss driving my c7 corvette i mean it's a phenomenal car to have it's a phenomenal car to own and i feel like like this car right now is my signature like i love the c8 i haven't put my signature on it just yet like that car really hasn't felt like it's mine yet this c7 feel like it's mine maybe because i i wrapped it i did certain things to it everything that you see on this car right now was everything that was done by me it was my personal touch and i haven't decided yet what i want to do with the c8 corvette as far as making it my personal touch if you guys got any suggestions you know leave your comments down below but as of right now i'm super excited to put more c7 content on the channel man you guys like this bad boy look good i mean it looks freaking amazing the wheels look good the tires look good 
Guys, tell me guys what you think. I mean, I'm looking forward to hearing you guys' you know, thoughts and you know, expressions on the C7 Corvette and you know, getting the new tires and getting those bad boys installed and ready to go. Once again, if you're interested in purchasing some of my merch, here's my Seagull and Speed 252 Key Tag and my lanyard, both of these bad boys on the website. Um, if you buy one, send me a picture of it so that way I can give you a shout out on the channel and I look forward to doing it for you as well. Um, I hope I get to meet you know you all someday. Definitely once this coronavirus things is over with and we can you know get back to normal life. And you know, I hope Corvette and Call Out is still going on actually. That's one of the events I'm looking forward to. I don't know about the Corvette Bash just yet, but I'm hoping Corvette and Call Out is definitely still going on. So that way we can all hang out, have a great time with each other, talk Corvette stuff, C7 stuff, C8 stuff. And you know, I'm looking forward to that stuff. So once again, you guys, thank you for watching my video today. Look forward to some C7 content coming your way. Once again, thank you for pushing that play button and see you on the Speed 252. We'll see you in another episode, baby.